guys and welcome back to my channel so today I have this tutorial for you today this is going to be um, not a talk through a voiceover I hope you guys enjoy this video this makeup tutorial is inspired by Iron Man and the Civil War movie coming out tomorrow it's May 4th right now May the 4th be with you got that I'm so funny Anyways, I'm uh, moving on. So this is inspired by Iron Man and the movie that's coming out tomorrow, May 5th. I am super excited to watch this movie. I'm watching it tonight. Actually, I work at a movie theater, so I had the advantage of seeing it before it is released to the public. Super excited. And I really hope you guys enjoy this video. I use a new pigment on my eyes, and it's just so, so, so pretty. Like, I can't stop looking at how reflective and pretty it is. I really like this look. Um, I did a similar look onto my sister, onto in on my sister, and it's on Instagram. I'll list my Instagram down below for you guys and check that out if you guys aren't following me. Um, I really, really like this look. I'm super impressed and happy with how it finished. Um, I'm just super excited to watch the movie. Let me know who you guys are voting for down below in the comments and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye! Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to start with my eyebrows already done to save some time and then I'm going to go in with my everyday basically eyeshadow primer from Milani and I'm just going to set it with a BH Cosmetics brush and the white like neutral color from the Morphe 35 Opal. You guys know this is like an every repetitive thing, but it's my must. You really should definitely be setting your primer and have it a neutral color because it's going to make all your other eyeshadows blend so much more better. Like let me tell you a hundred times better. You guys can definitely see the difference. And I'm going to be taking that color right there where you see the little flower and I'm going to be putting it into my crease. This is a nice transition shade. I like using lighter shades of the darker shades that I'm going to be going in with later on. So I'm going in with this nice, sweet, uh, gentle orange color and at first I use the creasing brush to really define the crease um, and have it very prominent into the crease but then I went in with a blending brush to blend and then I just kept on applying more orange and you could really use any orange for this it doesn't have to be that orange but that's what I used and then that color that I showed I'm taking a flat shader brush from the elf cosmetics line and I took that red color to deepen up my crease and afterwards I took the NYX HD concealer which I'm running out of like it's completely gone and I kind of wanted to cut the crease but this isn't a cut crease tutorial I just really wanted to have my eyelids defined so that's all I'm doing and then I'm just taking that brush and I'm making sure it's blended and dried and pat down and have it to the shape of my eyes and then all I did is go back into the blending brush and blend my eyeshadow eyeshadow sorry I don't know why I said that weird um, further and if I felt like I was lacking any pigmentation on any side I went back and retouched I'm then taking the, one of the e.l.f. studio brushes and I'm taking that color I just pointed at. It's a nice shimmery, very buttery red. Um, I love this. You can use a matte color, but I'm definitely much more a shimmer girl person, so I really like the nice glycerin look. So I put that in the outer V and then in the inner deck of my eyes. And this color did tend to fade when I started blending other colors in or using a blending brush. So then I took a tapered pencil brush and with that same color but now a matte, like I said you could use it matte, I went, wanted to deepen it up a little. But then right after that I will be going again and going over that. Now for a base for my pigmentation I took that color which is a gold color and I just needed this not really to pop or anything but just so that my um, pigments would hold on really nice which I loved how it came out. I think it's 10 times better than what this looks like right now and so to be completely honest this was a sample pigmentation but it's from Sugar Pill and I'll try to link it down below for you guys just in case you're interested. It's a really nice gold. Um, it's amazing as you can tell. I completely loved it and all I'm doing is retouching the red the gold, the red, the gold, and just so on and so forth.
And then Andre is just blending. Blend, blend, blend. And personally me, I like my eyeshadow to go um, longer because it makes my eyes look longer, if that makes sense. But yeah. So then I'm taking that first color. I use a transition shade. And I'm taking a blending brush from BH Cosmetics. And I am applying that to the higher points of my eyeshadow so that it looks diffused. I really like doing this when I feel like it didn't get blended enough or the color doesn't look gradient. And it really works, in my opinion. Then I just... Then I took that same white matte color and I prefer matte highlights for the brow bone. And so right now all I'm doing is just cleaning the eyeshadow mess and wiping it to look more straight and cut. And all I did was take the Ardell 120 lashes. Actually, it might be 105. I'm not sure. It'll be listed down below. And I put them on. These are probably one of my favorites. And I hate, like, falsies in general because I feel like I suck at applying them. But these ones are so much more easier. They look so natural. And I love how long they are. As you can tell, I was really feeling myself. Like, you can see throughout this video I am. But I just couldn't stand how nice this look came out. And all I'm doing is using a wet and wild waterproof vol voluminous um, mascara, not my favorite, but it does the work for when I'm using falsies. So I'm trying out this new moisturizer, and it's from the brand Ponds, and all I'm doing is moisturizing my face. It really does a good job at moisturizing, but that's kind of all it does. It doesn't really help as a base for my foundation or anything, so then I go in with the e.l.f. Blemish Face Control Primer, which I didn't show, but you guys have seen plenty of other times. And I'm not putting this all over my face, but I'm putting it where I have my blemishes and my pimples and all that nasty stuff. And then I go in with a different primer, which is the Milani um, Hydrating and Pore Minimizing primer and I'm applying that in my t-zone which is where I have my larger pores and today I'm going to be color correcting so I use the green the purple the salmon color and then did I say yellow because I did use yellow so I use the green for the blemishes and then I use the purple for like the shadowing under my mouth which is also like where you could use yellow because of, of, of because of discoloration and then I use the pink for my under eyes I really love doing this when I really want my makeup to look nice and like my blemish is all gone. So I'm then going to go in with foundation in the shade 120 Ivory. And this is the Dewy and Smooth Maybelline Foundation. I'm actually really loving this. It does crease on my fine lines, but it's so much less than other even high-end um foundations it, it's really nice i really like it as you can tell my face looks like drenched and uh like wet but personally to me i'm i like that i like the dewy look because i am such a dry skinned girl i love having the whole glow and looking kind of sweaty but it's not disgusting sweaty it's like i don't know it's just really nice and so i'm gonna take my air spun and i'm gonna set my lines that i get and my smile lines and this is a really good way if you really just want to focus on those lines right there i use a large eyeshadow brush from wet and wild and i dip it into my air spun and then i just shape out my fine line and where i get little crinkles and cracks because i have it which i hate it so much but i guess it's life and then i take a large powder brush from wet and wild and i just wiped that all up and i also went in with a bh cosmetics powder brush for i can further blend it and then i just took my rimmel mitch and mix and max perfection two in one it's a super long very annoying name of concealer but it does the job this is probably one of my favorite concealers it's so nice it really does highlight and conceal i'm in the shade 125 fair this is like holy grail i use this, this is also very repetitive i know um eventually i'll start using more products and i'll let you guys know so now i'm just setting my under eyes and i just like to set my under eyes because like i said very very um dry skin person and I don't like that so now I'm just doing the under part of the eyeshadow if that makes sense where my lower lash line is and I'm using all the same colors I used in my crease the red the lighter orange the darker orange I like to take the lighter color and have it further blended so then it's like a gradient effect on the bottom lashes I love this look I connected it 
to the higher side of my eyeshadow so I don't know if you can see but maybe in a close-up you will see that it's all connected and I personally like it it's not I mean different shape different people different tastes different opinions but I really like how it came out I love the whole thing as you can see there like you can see it's all connected which I don't mind and then all I did was take my powder brush and wiped off the air spun under my eyes Apparently I can't talk today. And then I'm taking the CoverGirl Star Wars mascara, my holy girl mascara to be completely honest. And I'm so sad it's a mutation, but I'm also sad that it's not cruelty free because probably once I'm done with this, I won't be buying any more from that line. We'll see. Hopefully, fingers crossed. I'm trying to go more cruelty free than not. And I'm just coating my lashes. And then I'm be taking uh, the bronzer shade in Saint Lucia from Elf. And I'm just going to be applying that onto my face. I'm definitely more of a bronzer girl and contour. I don't like blush. And I'm going to be taking the contour palette from Wet n Wild. And I'm going to be using an angled, like, floppy brush. I really like this. It really diffuses my makeup really well and blends it off very, very nicely. I completely love it. Um, so beautiful. I really do. And this is in the shade Caramel Toffee. And then I like to take that yellow. And I don't like it to set under my eyes or brighten my eyes. But I love it to define and sharpen my contour. I don't know if you guys can tell, but like my contour looks like great. I mean, at least to me, like I love it. It's amazing. And then I'm highlighting with the Radiant Lights, of course. And I also did spray it with my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water so I can make it more shiny. Oh my God, it's so, I love highlighting. It's beautiful. And then I just go in with um, the same powder brush from Wet n Wild and I, take out any excess powder from where my contour was and then I'm going to be taking Rich Red, that's the shade name, by e.l.f. And I thought this was going to be a much deeper red but it came out very bright so then what I did was to kind of cool it down and I don't know just make it a little nice more neuter that it matched with the lips. I took Sandstorm from NYX and I loved this lip color. It actually looked nice. And this is the final look, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I really enjoyed filming it. I, Like I said in the beginning, I'm sorry if I look a little too full of myself, but I loved how it looked. Like, I felt pretty, and when you feel pretty, I feel like you just have to embrace it because you don't, I mean, personally me, I don't feel pretty constantly. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, or even comment. Subscribing really helps, and commenting any suggestions really help as well. I hope you guys have a great day, a great morning, and please let me know who you guys are voting for for the Civil War movie. I hope you guys like the movie. If you have seen it. Have a great day, you guys. Until next time. Bye.